Walter Scott must have been a track athlete before serving his country, having children. His knees were high, elbows bent at 90 degrees as his arms pumped close to his sides, back straight and head up as each foot landed in front of the other. Too much majesty in his last strides. So much depends on instinct, ingrained legacies, and American pastimes. Relays where everyone on the team wins remain a dream. Olympic arrogance. Black men chased for sport. Heat after heat of long-standing savage races that always finish the same way. My guess is Walter Scott ran distances and sprinted, whatever his life events required. Years of training and technique are not forgotten, even at 50 even after being tased out of his right mind. Even in peril, the body remembers what it has been taught, keeping perfect form during his final dash.